guest uh, played for five years the time traveler Sam Beckett on the innovative series Quantum Leap. He can now be seen coaching the buzz in the new movie Major League Back to the Miners. Please say hi to Scott Bakula. <laughs> I'm good. Nice to see I'm you. Very good. Nice to see you. I was too. a huge fan of the Quantum Leap show. Well, thank you so much. I was very upset that it went off the air. When well, it did. so was I. Were you? Yeah. 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 Just look. Can I have the foot thing? Yes, you can, sir. Because hold on. I want to have what everybody else has. There you go. Are you okay? Oh yeah. Now. Did you happen to see the show yesterday? Mm, no. That's okay. I was traveling. All right. I hit that button. Yes. The entire chair moved. William Shatner fell off the stage. No way. I don't know what happened. The hydraulic lift for the footrest somehow got caught in the leg of the chair. It was the most frightening thing that's ever happened to me on this program, sir. And and how was William? He was great about oh. it. I you know I I was the one who totally lost composure. Okay. So I'm so happy that we just did that and everything's fine. Yes. All right. So we should we put it back? No. You no, want it back? No. 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 You no, need no. It. I'm fine. We can put it back. No, See, now it works. No, we I had know. a special effects team come in. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Now, you must have loved playing that character where you got to be like a different person every week. You got to really work yourself as an actor. Yeah, it was great. It was a dream role, and I got to do so many different things, uh, things that I'd never done before, and they were good enough to let me do things that I also like to do. And I, I got to sing a bunch. I got to ride horses, box, fly from the trapeze, play right. several women. Right. Um, Folks of all different genders and uh, and colors and it, it was it was great. But I had a ball singing. That was and we have some of it. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you very have much. Have you ever done musical theater? Uh, yes. You have in this town. What did you do? Romance, romance was the last thing I did in New York. Did you know On this Broadway. Song? I didn't know this. Why didn't you tell me, John? <laughs> when you're meeting with me before the show, Scott Pack, you a Broadway better. Can okay. you guys make it from the waist down? I don't know anything. That's not true. I didn't know anything about you like that. You know more about everybody than anybody I've ever seen. But not you. I didn't know the Broadway thing of you. I feel bad. Bad, Rosie. Bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Myers. Yes, I do. That I do know. Periodically. Yes. Actually, I kind of skate around and those guys play hockey. Yeah. Because... That's really what they wanted to do. Are you good? Are you good at it? No. No, but they're no. good, right? They're very good. They're very serious about it because they they grew up in Canada, and that's exactly. really what they wanted to do. They'll tell you other things, but what they really wanted to do was play hockey. I grew up playing on the ponds in St. Louis until they until the ice melted. So that that's my right. It's my hockey thing. Was but that your sport it. when you were a kid, hockey? Or were you no, I played a lot of sports. I played baseball. Uh, I played tennis. I played soccer. Um, but I played a lot of Little League baseball, which was kind of fun to go and make this baseball movie. I was going to say, it must have come in handy. Yeah. Because I, I did the baseball movie, and uh, yeah. that really helped me, too, that I actually knew how to play. Yeah. 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 Well, it makes it more fun. Right. This is the first of the major leagues that you've, you've been in. Yeah, there were two been, before. Yeah, and they're very funny movies. They are. This one is equally funny, only it's a little different approach. It takes place in the minor leagues, and I play the coach of a minor league team. Right. And uh, it's a whole different look because these kids are still full of the dream you know we're, yeah. we're we're all hit with the sports guys these days that are so jaded because they're making so much money and this and that and and the young kids and we play with a lot of the real minor league kids they still they want to you know come back in a year man I'm playing with Atlanta and I'll be in with Cincinnati so it was a ball doing the movie well we have a clip yes and uh, do you need to set this up I, I saw uh, it it's you in the locker room or? yeah I'm giving a little speech to the guys before we go out and play the Minnesota Twins which is the the parent team coached by Ted McGinley okay. who's an evil coach and I of course am the good coach take a look Scott Bakula. I know you've all read in the paper that this game is a publicity stunt. Part of my ongoing feud with Leonard Huff. But it would be foolish and self-indulgent for me to put you all in such a jam, in such a tough game for publicity. No, my, my motivation is uh, stronger, deeper than that. It's, it's ego. <laughs> but unlike some coaches who might ask you to go out there and play the game because you love it or because you're fulfilling a lifelong dream, I'm asking plain and simple that you win this one for me. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Major League back to the minors that opens today. Look forward to seeing that. Thank you. Now, we uh, have something in common. Do you know this? Uh, I don't know.
Lancelot Link. Oh. What you gonna do? <laughs> you love oh, that show? I love that show. I don't think anyone else has ever mentioned that show. It's to one me. Of, it was one of the greatest shows. I wondered what happened to it. You never see? Do you ever see it anymore? It's it was never only on again. like for two or three years in 1974, I would say. Yeah, right about 73, then. 73, 74. Yeah. And it was chimpanzees. Remember this? Mm. It was chimps, yeah. chimps dressed up, and they went, see me. You and that lady in the back row. That's it. <laughs> but I they love that show. They you know. They dressed right. as, and they and they all chewed gum so they could lip sync their mouth. Yeah. Oh, Nancy. And he yeah. Went, yeah, I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I loved it. It was Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah. After I, the cartoon. It was a great. Yeah, yeah we did uh, a lot of movies together. Auditioned for a lot of the same things out For the right. baseball movie. That's right. Yeah. Base, she's a great woman. Yeah, she's. And how's your baby? He well, he's not a baby anymore. He's almost two and a half. To me, he's, he's great. still a baby at that. Age. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they are. It's a, it's a great time. He just, you know, I was leaving to go on this trip, and he was like, hey, "Yeah, bye." Well, don't you want to come down to the car and say goodbye? Uh, bye. I gotta play with the train here. Yeah. You know? Does he see the Barney movie yet? Did you take? No, it? we're going. We're going when I get back. Good luck. Met Barney. You met Barney. Met Barney in the airport. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Barney came up and introduced himself. No. Nope. Now you say, how would I know it's Barney? Yeah. How would you know? Right. He had pictures. Yeah. And he raised his stomach up and he had his shirt up and he had a green little teardrop on his belly. He did? And that's when I knew for sure. It was it Barney. It was Barney, yes. Well, let me just tell you something, Scott. Yes? All the parents who had to sit through that hour and 35 minutes, they're in some sort of mental traumatic state. No. You, you've gone to heaven is what you're saying. No, listen. I honestly sat through the movie and I thought to myself, could I fake him out and tell him it's over when it's not? Would that hurt him? <laughs> now, in all credit to the movie, he loved it. Yeah. He's been talking about it ever since. The egg went here, and I like, you know, and he wants to go see it again. I keep telling him that it's no longer showing. <laughs> Have someone else take him. It's horrible. Or drop him off in the front. Two and a half! Yeah, yeah. Drop him off. Send him in. Don't even say that. <laughs> toilet train, two and a half? Please tell oh, me no. Oh, sure, no. Please, no. Go, is it? No, good? I'm barely toilet train. All right, good to know. There you have it. Hey, it's lovely to have you on the show. It's great to be Thank here. Thank you very much. Really. Would you mind if the three women from the back who drove 12 hours came down and gave you a big hug? Not at all. All right, ladies from the Scott Bakula fan club. Right. Come on.